Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you an extreme food budget using some very basic ingredients. I have a can of mixed vegetables, a large and small potato, and some turkey. I've never used this brand before so I'm interested to see how it tastes. You can also use ground beef if you have that or if you want to use that. And then some flour. For the first meal, I am going to take a potato and chop it up. I prefer to have smaller chunks of potatoes. And for my turkey, I'm gonna go ahead and divide it up into six even length slices or sections of the tube, just kind of pre-cutting it. And then I'll cut off sections and this will be for each meal. So each meal will have one sixth of the tube. I'm gonna go ahead and fry my potatoes. Just using a little bit of oil, you can use butter. For these recipes, you will need basic ingredients such as spices, butter, and or oil. Most of these I think people have on hand. And then go ahead and season and cook up your ground turkey or beef if you choose to use that. I believe salt and pepper is an underrated spice or ingredient. It adds a lot to meals. And it's kind of a simple thing that you can purchase. I'm going to make a tortilla. I've never actually made one before, so this is going to be very fun and interesting for me. I'm going to use a one fourth cup of the flour. And I have a little bit of salt in there also. And just be sure to give that a nice mix and stir. I'm using some lukewarm water. Just mixing in a little bit at a time until I get the consistency. I have my dough ball formed. Just trying to get all of that extra flour off of there. I put a very little on the counter just to keep it from sticking. And I'm gonna let that sit there for 10 to 15 minutes. Go ahead and get my pan oiled up and ready for my tortilla. And then go ahead and just roll it out, getting it as thin as I can. And I should have used a larger pan, but that's okay. It actually came out pretty good. Just let that cook on one side until it gets kind of crispy. And then I flipped it over to the other side. And I actually could have made two meals out of this. I have some extra beef and potatoes on the side and I will be saving that later for a snack. If you have salsa, sour cream, or cheese, you could put this on here and it'd be really good, but I didn't put any of that on there for the sake of the video. And then I just have some iced tea on the side too. This tortilla came out really good. I was really, really surprised and shocked because I've never made one before. And it was really simple, actually. So day one for my lunch, I have this can of vegetables and it has three and a half servings in there. So I'm going to divide it out, being sure to measure it out. So I have enough for each of my meals. I'm just gonna have a half a cup with this meal and the rest I'll put in a container and use for the rest of the meals. With the larger of the two potatoes I bought, I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise this will make the bun for the hamburger or turkey burger. You want to put that in the oven and bake it. I've set mine to 400 degrees and I'll bake it for 40 minutes. When it's done, just let it cool before taking out the center. 
You can use a spoon or whatever you have to kind of scrape out the middle. You just want a very thin layer around the outside. And then you'll flip it over face down. And that's all the insides that came out of there and I'll be using that also for another meal. You can leave the potatoes kind of puffed up or like I'm going to do here, I'm just kind of flattening them a little bit. Putting a little bit of oil on it, you can also use butter. And then I'm going to go ahead and top that with a little bit of salt. Completely optional, you can also put pepper or any other seasonings you want on there. I'm going to make my turkey patty. And again, this is just using one sixth of the tube. It actually makes a pretty large patty. Just season it however you want to. And voila, that is that. It's actually a really, really good meal. It was delicious. And I've made this something similar to this in the past, but you can also Put whatever you want on there if you have ketchup if you have mustard mayo um, lettuce tomato anything you want to kind of church it up a little bit and then of course the mixed vegetables with just a little salt and pepper so day one dinner i'm gonna put a little salt and pepper again a seasoning that i think is underrated and not used enough and also season some turkey and then I'm going to roll out my dough. I'll be using a glass to cut out my biscuit shapes. I'm gonna need four of those, one for the top and one for the bottom for each of my little meat pies. And this is a little bit that was left over. I'm just gonna go ahead and bake it and kind of eat it like a little biscuit. You'll need to place one on a flat surface and then just put a little scoop of meat in the middle. Just kind of piling it up a little bit high. I'm gonna use some water around the edge of the dough. I'm gonna do that both on the top and the bottom. And this is just to help it stick together. You'll need to stretch out that top one just a little bit just to get it over the meat pie. And then using the prongs of the fork, you can go around and make your little markings to get the dough to stick together and to get that cute little pie shape. I've placed mine on a oiled piece of tin foil, and I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the top of them also. You can season the top if you want. Then while that's cooking, I'm going to use some of my potatoes that I took out of the previous meal. Now you can mash these and make them with milk or butter if you have it. I'm just leaving them just like they came out of the potato. And then I'm gonna put salt and pepper. And I have a little bit of chives that I have growing fresh on my windowsill, so I'm gonna put those on top, totally optional. And then just some ground meat, just left over from the didn't fit in the meat pie. And the potatoes and meat were actually my favorite part of this meal. But surprisingly, the meat pies came out really delicious. Um, the outside of them were nice and crispy and the inside was kind of chewy. So I really like that contrast in textures. Also, if you have a little bit of salsa and ranch, mix that up and you can use that as a dipping for this. I did mix up a little bit of that, just a teaspoon of each, just for dipping. You can also use ketchup or mustard or whatever your condiment of choice is. But they actually came out really good. I was actually really surprised. And this was basically just the little piece that I baked. It's kind of chewy in a way, but the taste isn't bad. Day two, breakfast. I'm gonna be using one fourth of a cup of the vegetables and then a one fourth cup for the biscuits. And I'm gonna use a biscuit for each of my meals today. So I'm just gonna take one fourth times three out of my bag and just go ahead and make all my biscuits at once just to save myself some time. And I have a little bit left for some gravy I can make. 
I am going to cut in a little bit of butter. This is just for flavor. You don't have to do this. And then again, just putting a little bit of water there just to get the consistency of a dough ball. I am gonna knead mine a little bit and then roll it into a ball and then let it sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 450. Fry up your ground beef or turkey and season to however you want it to be. And then with my dough, I'm going to cut it into three even length pieces, trying to get them as close to size as possible. So each biscuit is roughly about the same size. I'm gonna go ahead and cook them directly on the pan, just putting a little bit of butter or oil so that they don't stick. When my ground beef finishes cooking, put that to the side. Just gonna use a little bit of butter here. I've never actually made a homemade gravy before. This is my first time. Although I did make one trial run before the video and I used oil. I didn't like the way it came out, so I did decide to use butter with this. I'm using about a tablespoon of butter and then the rest of the flour that was left over from my purchase. Slowly stirring in a little bit of water, breaking up the clumps. I feel like this gives me a smoother gravy. I was actually really, really surprised about how the taste and flavor of this came out. I just seasoned it basically with salt and pepper. and then added as much water as I wanted to get the consistency of the gravy. But it turned out really, really good, and it, the butter gives it the white color, like a white gravy. I think the oil gave me more of a brown color. So I'm going to take half of that gravy, and that'll be for the second meal or dinner for the day. So breakfast and dinner are the same for today. And then with the remainder left in there, I'll take my ground beef that I cooked and set aside and go ahead and mix that back in there. And I did need to add a little bit of water to mine because it did get really, really thick. These are my three biscuits. They came out pretty good, nice and hot, and the center is pretty doughy, so it came out pretty good. The outside's nice and crisp. And with the gravy on it, it's going to soften it up a little bit anyway, so. And this is the meal. I'm really surprised at the portion of this. I was afraid that it wasn't going to be enough, but it actually filled me up. And I ended up eating a little bit of a later lunch because this actually filled me up quite a bit. And I'm a big fan of vegetables from a can. I know, I know some people aren't really into canned vegetables, but... This Winco brand was actually really good. but it really has a nice consistency and texture to the biscuit. Show you a close up here of a little bit of vegetables and everything with it. I was actually quite surprised with this meal and quite pleased. So day two lunch, I'm gonna take the ground turkey, season it up. I'm gonna add basic ingredients, salt, pepper. I have onion powder garlic powder, garlic salt, really anything that you have that you feel like can season it up. This is gonna be the soup. And I really like adding leafy things to my soup like parsley, basil. I think they add a whole lot of flavor to the broth. 
I usually get my seasonings from Kroger. They have a really small container. It used to be a dollar, but now it's up to a dollar twenty-five. But it still lasts me quite a long time. And you can get like three or four different seasonings and kind of just use them up. And that butter added with the water, I put about a cup and a half of water in there. It really gave the broth a beautiful color and it tastes really good. I did need to add a little bit more salt and pepper to mine, but you'll see there it's, it came out really nice. I was really surprised with just butter and water. I usually use broth when making things, but keeping it simple here. I'm going to stir in the rest of my vegetables. And it may not sound that great, but this really was really good. It was just meat and vegetables in here. And I let it cook for a long time, just on low. And then once it kind of got how I wanted it to be, I just turned it off and let it sit there for a few hours and then came back and ate it. And to keep your biscuits soft, you can take some paper towels, wet them, and then wrap the biscuit in it. And then put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds or 10 to 15 second intervals until it's as warm as you want it. And you'll see here, it actually comes out really moist that way. So if you wanted to go ahead and make your biscuits ahead of time. And this was really good dipped in the soup. Unfortunately, the soup just came off the stove so it was like scolding hot. It was a little bit tough to eat. So I did put an ice cube in there just to cool it down a little bit. But the flavors in here were really, really good. I was really surprised and just kind of cooking it for a couple of hours, it really made all the flavors come out of the food into the broth and kind of vice versa. So everything came out really good. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you try some of these recipes or maybe kind of alter them to your tasting and liking. I'll see you next time. Thanks.